Okay, this is Dave, Dave's DIY, and today we will be building a whip antenna. And this was actually kind of a request, not specifically for building a whip antenna, uh, but this was kind of uh, prompted by the conversation with Coil Labs in regards to coils and antennas. They asked me to do a video on high frequency ham radio work and some different things like that. And I would love to, I would love to teach about ham radio. Um, I don't have any ability to do practical examples or hands-on examples. So this, this video is gonna be just covering part one and I'm going to make it into two parts. The second part will be when I build the antenna and test it. Um, but because, again, I'm in the middle of a move, the best I can do right now is, is impart uh, the formula for this onto you. And so we'll start by defining this formula. We got to... Uh, so, ooh, bad spelling. Let uppercase L equal length... in feet okay and this is unfortunately not imperial friendly or metric friendly this is just the formula it is what it is at the end of it i'll convert the answer to metric which i prefer for the record but this formula is imperial so brace yourself uh so anyway we're gonna let our constant uppercase c which is a constant below less than 30 kilometers is equal to 234. It's very hard to read. 234. All right. Now, we will let lowercase f equal our frequency in megahertz. I hope we don't lose power. I see my light flickering. <laughs> um, but the first formula, and, w and this will be the first of two. The first is C divided by F equals L. Is that, is that simple? Now, the second one is the one that I will be using in the next video. And the next video, it, it, of course, is going to be the actual building. The second formula is we're going to define an extra rule. We will let uppercase L, lowercase i equal length in inches. All right, I'm running out of paper here. Let me grab another paper. Well, no, I can still fit that. Um, so this new formula will be Li equals C divided by F multiplied by 12, and this is gives you inches. All right, so the way that works, we'll just come over here and draw us a vertical bar. I'm a big fan of using up as much paper as possible. So what we'll do here, um, well, let's say I want to listen to the local FM radio station and the one that's right in the middle of the frequency range between like 90 megahertz and say 106 megahertz is Y101 and Y101 is 101.700 megahertz. So the way you would write this formula would be your constant divided by frequency times 12. I'm going to have to start that over. I apologize. Constant divided by frequency times 12, which is equal to 234 divided by 101.7 times 12. Now, that's our whole formula. If we were to go back to the very beginning 
and bring our calculator here and we do 234 divided by 101.7 that gives us and we'll, we'll we'll come we'll come over here for that our first formula is equal to 2.300 feet right but now our second formula which is in inches you would add this is where you come in here and add that 12 which is important because um, I like working in inches on anything smaller than one meter. So if you were to do your constant and everything like that, this answer here is equal to 27.610619, etc. inches, right? Which is approximately 76 millimeters. This is the formula now, if you were to do the whole thing in long form, we'll turn this because again, I'm trying to use up all this space. The long form would be 234 divided by 101.7 times 112. And that is equal to 27.6 or equal to 70 six millimeters now you cut a piece of wire and let me grab a piece of wire like this this piece of copper wire and you'll want to cut this copper wire to this length here either this is the same length as either inches or millimeters we'll put inches and attach the end of it which has been cleaned of any like enamel or shielding or anything like that you'll want to fuse that into your connector and connect it to the radio or if you're like me and your radio is broken but it has a little set screw you can just attach it via the set screw but again you should try to attach it via a connector so that you don't break your radio and that's really all I have for you today. Uh, again, this is part one. There will be a part two. I'll actually build it and test it on the next one. So I'm going to leave this in frame just for a second. You can just kind of take a glance, pause that wherever you want to pause it. You know, I'll have it there for a second. And if you want to pause here, you can. If any of that's helpful. And then for another about 10 seconds, we'll turn this way and you can utilize that. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. Hope you have a great day.